Somebody turn the, the one that turns off the front lights. The front one is. First try. All right, guys, let's take a look here. <laughs> so take this guy's derivative. And again, sometimes it's going to be really easy and it's fine if you don't. But, but trust me, the more you write the rules, the better it's going to be for you. So the rule specifically is what? Yeah. I like it. Derivative x is? 1. Derivative e x is? Yes. 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 So, when you're doing derivatives with functions that have e to the x in them somewhere, you're going to see this kind of repetition going on. It's really neat. And when you put e to the x together with sine and cosine, it gets really freaky. Because sine and cosine have periodicity, and e to the x is the most basic period is always itself. <coughs> so, you get neat stuff. Exactly. So, if you wanted to, if, if, the next, if the question was, tell me where this function has horizontal tangent line. What does that mean to have a horizontal tangent line? Um, the slope is zero. The slope is zero. So this is the slope, right? And I want to set it equal to zero, so I would like to have it factored or one plus again. You guys would think so. If the question is just take the derivative, I all, unless it's something simple like reducing or adding like terms, you should do that. But beyond that, it doesn't matter because it would depend on what's next. And if there's nothing next, who gives a crap? But if the next thing would have been find out where it's horizontal, then I want to factor it, right? Cool. And that would be negative 1. And does this ever equal 0? No. Hell no. So it's just that negative 1. I like it. So negative 1, this guy has a valley or a hill. We don't know. We have to figure it out. What about this guy? I've got to use what, who? Uh, yeah. So y prime. What's the rule? X. What's the sum? No, no, no. I'm talking about the, the, the good song. The good song is top first. Top first. Sure. I don't know if we can officially call it a good song. Minus. Good. So top first and then minus, which makes sense because it's coming from a negative something in the bottom. It gets its turn, good, and then this will be x squared minus 2 squared. So now you just got to do it. x prime is 1, kick ass. x squared minus 2 prime is 2x. Yeah, you get x squared minus 2x squared, I like it. So minus x squared minus 2 over x squared minus 2 squared. Do these cancel? No. no. Why not? Because they're different. They're different. I like it. And they're not different in the right way. If you subtract your negative out, it's still not the same. So, two that. It's this. All right. If you subtract your negative out, you don't get the same thing on the bottom. You get that. So, it doesn't, nothing cancels. I like it. Yes, ma'am. Are you good? Sorry. Are you stretching? All right. Oh, shoot. Wait, you'll leave yourself room, Jeff. All right. Well, this one, I don't need any room for this one. What's g prime of x? Come on, I've got that. Zero. Zero. Thank you. Because what is 3e to the 4th over 5e squared minus 1? It's a constant. It's a constant. I like it. So it's three to the zero. My teacher did pi to the 7th, and we all did something. We all lost all the points on it. <laughs> right? And the point they're trying to make, I mean, this kind of thing, who knows when it's going to pop up. So you want to find what's easy, and don't make little mistakes. Just say, is this a constant? No. no. Do the problem. Is this a constant? Yes. Make it zero. There's no variable. Yes. There's no variable. Yeah. No variable dependence, so it's constant. Doesn't care what x does. Um, what about this guy? Product rule. So I get x squared prime, prime. prime. plus Good. So that's the rule. They each get a turn. You get 2x. 2x. And an x. Plus x squared. Plus x squared. Plus x squared. Plus x squared. There's really nothing of consequence if you do that. And again, it would be an interesting question about just trying to find, find the horizontal tangent lines for that. Uh, keep that in mind. No, Jeff. No, just forget about it. <laughs> All right, this one very quickly. Again, what, what am I going to use? Rewrite it. Uh, yeah, good. First, I'm going to rewrite it. Three. 
you wanted to, you could distribute. It doesn't really matter. Right? The math doesn't care. But if I take a derivative right now, what will I get? I'll get three fourths x to the negative. Now, this is where people start to forget. Leave this alone. Plus, leave the first one alone. Derivative the inside, right? I'm breaking my own rule, but I'm running out of room. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of negative x is negative one. So if you wanted to, you could get a negative out and make it a minus in the middle. Is that cool? If you wanted to, that's really the only thing you could do. You could factor out. Uh, oh, since this is going to come up in some homework, sorry. Do you guys get that? No, no. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, like my, my teacher would always do this. What? Exercise left for the student. Oh. <laughs> Elves. Elves. That's how you do it. Exercise left for the student. Oh, oh, correct. Oh. <laughs> All right. Real quick, uh, this is going to happen sometimes. How would you factor this? Okay, with, real quick, on the side, how would you factor this? Uh, yeah, pull on y x squared. Why don't you pull x to 7? That's crazy. You're like the, the semi-fair tax man. You only take the most anybody can give. The most anybody can give is 2. Right? So what? So you always take the lower power. Hmm. So what can come out of here? One fourth. X to the negative 1 fourth. I'll do this one. Thank you. What happens to this one? one. Good. You get a whole x. It's cool. So questions that will be derivatives that end up here and they'll say what's the when is it horizontal? You have to set equal to zero. You've got to factor the damn thing. You've got to remember the rule is the same rule as always been. Take out the smaller power. What's really nice is they kind of fill each other. When I divide by x to the negative one fourth, I add the powers, right? Because it's minus and negative. Maybe. I don't know where you guys are going. It's still five minutes. One plus a. What's up? Is there five minutes? I can't remember. No. <laughs> Twelve forty-five. I almost had you guys. All right. Oh, uh, I will say this. There's a quiz on Monday. Yay! Yay! I'll just make it on three one and three two. So to cover through quotient rule. It's a product portion. It won't have any trick stuff on there yet. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, no, I have a gap. Yeah, so yeah. I was looking at, you know, I talked to some of the people about this already. I mean, I think the same thing here as I did in the and I understand you want me to show work that you do. Yes. Okay. Was this one entirely wrong? Yes. No, but it wasn't. Okay. He said that it was maybe a few years ago. Yeah, okay. Right. Because um, there are some functions that will cross their own horizontal asymptotes. This is a very simple rational. What's the horizontal asymptote? Um, 